it's not uncommon for a lady with chronic arthritis to need help getting to her feet. But when that lady is a 41-year-old elephant, it'll require quite a hefty helping of muscle to get her standing up again. Elephant handlers at the Los Angeles Zoo arrived one morning to find the aging Tara, an 8,000-pound African elephant, lying in a water reservoir. Mammal curator Jenny McNary immediately knew Tara was in trouble. Elephants do lay down um, for periods, short periods of time to rest, to sleep. Tara doesn't. We had no idea why she fell, what damage might have been done, if she had broken anything. The longer they lay down, the more problems you might have with respiratory problems. This isn't the first time Tara has been unable to right herself after falling. But after spending her entire night like this, rescuers are worried it could be her last. The LA Fire Department is called in to assist the rescue. The fire department had some very uh, heavy equipment, apart from the cables that they used on their, their, from their fire truck, they had a forklift that can lift many thousands of pounds more than Tara weighs. Using two giant straps, the forklift starts to drag Tara toward level ground. But there's a problem. Her tusk is caught between two boulders, and if the frustrated beast thrashes, it could tear her cheek open. The rescue will have to take a slight detour. But even an object this size is no easy task to move. An elephant handler gasps as the massive rock falls, stopping just inches from the downed animal's head. The rescuers try again. This time, they pull the boulder a safe distance from the reservoir. The forklift is now free to lift Tara from the pit, but they must move quickly. Her 8,000-pound frame is not meant to hang by two cords and the straps dig into the elephant's skin. And no matter how mild-mannered Tara may seem, there's no telling how a wounded animal might react to such a trauma. An animal under that kind of stress, you never know. I mean, they can be incredibly unpredictable. For now, Tara cooperates, as the straps are transferred to a giant construction crane. The industrial machine will be used to hoist the elephant to her feet. Only then will McNary and the handlers be able to tell what damage, if any, has been done. Finally, they're ready for the lift. It's a moment that can't come too soon for Tara or her concerned caretakers. McNary watches closely as Tara struggles to regain her footing. The crane slowly but surely raises the elephant to her feet. Just the lifting of an animal that size with straps around her, you know, that must have been terribly uncomfortable for her. Once she stood up, she actually stayed up on her feet and looked pretty strong and wasn't totally exhausted, was able to walk around on her own right away. That was good. We were very happy to see that. The last step is up to Tara. Rescuers stand clear as she struggles to kick away the rescue straps. Finally, she's free. It took a fighting spirit for Tara to get out of a heavy situation, and she's still got plenty of fight left in her as one handler soon finds out. The worker scurries to safety, but he's not discouraged by the aggressive maneuver. It's a sure sign that Tara is back to her old self and unharmed by her ordeal.